Did you know, the advanced technology used by the Paw Patrol is actually powered by the dogs themselves? This theory suggests that each pup generates a unique energy source that fuels their gadgets and vehicles. Here are the reasons that proves this theory. Number 1. Unique Abilities Each pup in the Paw Patrol possesses a unique set of skills and abilities that are essential for their rescue missions. For example, Marshall is a skilled firefighter and Sky is an expert pilot. The theory suggests that these innate abilities generate a specific type of energy that can be harness to power their respective gadgets and vehicles. Number 2. Pup-related gadgets. The gadgets and vehicles used by the Paw Patrol team are highly specialized and tailored to each pup's unique skills. For instance, Marshall's fire truck has a water cannon, while Sky's helicopter has a grappling hook. This theory posits that the energy generated by each pup's abilities is channeled directly into their gadgets, allowing them to operate effectively. Number 3. No visible fuel source. Throughout the series, there is no explicit mention of the fuel source or power supply for the gadgets and vehicles. The absence of traditional fueling mechanisms such as gasoline or electricity hints at the possibility of an alternative pup-generated energy source. Number 4. Energy Transfer. In various episodes, the Paw Patrol pups are shown using their skills and abilities to solve problems and overcome obstacles. The theory suggests that during these moments, the energy generated by their actions is transferred to power their technology. For example, when Chase uses his tracking skills, the energy generated could be harnessed to enhance the tracking capabilities of his spy gear. Number 5. Pup-based technology upgrades. Throughout the series, the pups occasionally receive upgrades to their gadgets and vehicles. The theory posits that these upgrades are designed to better harness and utilize the unique energy generated by each pup, resulting in improved performance. Number 6. Pup energy variability. The theory suggests that the energy generated by each pup may vary in type and intensity. For instance, Rubble's construction skills might produce a sturdy and resilient energy source that's perfect for reinforcing their vehicles, while Rocky's recycling expertise could yield a more environmentally friendly and sustainable energy. Number 7. Recharge through training. To maintain their energy levels, the pups might need to engage in regular training exercises that directly align with their skills. For example, Marshall could practice putting out fires, and Sky might engage in flight training. These activities not only keep the pups sharp, but also ensure a steady supply of energy for their missions. Number 8. Energy Reserve. In particularly challenging missions or during prolonged rescue efforts, the theory suggests that the pups might need to tap into their energy reserves. This could introduce a sense of urgency and sacrifice when the team faces critical situations, as using their reserves may temporarily diminish their skills until they can recharge. Number 9. Energy Redistribution In episodes where not all pups are directly involved in a rescue mission, the theory could suggest that their unused energy is redistributed among the active team members. This concept reinforces forces the idea that every pup's contribution is valuable, even if they are not the primary focus of a particular episode. Number 10. Limitations and Challenges To add depth to the theory, it could be proposed that the energy generated by the pups has limitations and vulnerabilities. For instance, external factors or interference could disrupt their energy flow, making it challenging for the team to operate their technology. This adds tension and drama to specific episodes, as the team must overcome these obstacles. To know some crazy theories about Paw Patrol, check out this video.